Welcome back to part two. Thanks for joining Hard Pars on, over here at Lakeside. Uh, this is again one of the uh, five Lexington Park courses that the city runs. Really affordable, really fun. Uh, I like to say that they're easier, but they've been kicking my butt, so they're not. They're just like every other golf course. You can have good holes, you can have bad holes. But anyways, we're gonna be playing the back nine now. If you haven't seen the front nine, please go back and check that out. Wasn't the best round in the world, but hey, it's golf. Hole 10, par four, 360 yards up over that hill. And I think it's just off to the left over there. That is not the way I wanted to start out the second half. I flubbed this thing barely nowhere. Four iron, up the hill, try and get back into play here. All right, we at least hit that ball. You know, when we reference to that we play hard par golf, I don't mean to be making it this hard. I got 80 yards left to the flag. Up this hill. Sand wedge. Let's do it. All right, it's up on the green. Let's go see how far it is. Hole number three. I'm sorry, hole number 11. Par three, 165 yards straight ahead. Flag looks to be there in the middle. Okay, I've got 162 yards to that flag. A little bit downwind, a little bit downhill. I'm gonna hit a seven iron. And I pulled that hard left. All right, like I said, hard left, touch long. I've got about 30 yards to the flag. All right, you can see it had a lot of spin coming out of this rough, so it kind of just hit and kept rolling. Hole 12, par 5, 525 yards up over this ridge. Okay, that's proof that it can happen. Shot right down the middle, decent shot. All right, next shot goes down and then up over there to the right. I'm thinking this calls for a little uh, cutty four iron. Well, that was a low cutter. I still have about 150 yards up that hill to get onto the green. So uphill with a touch of wind, I'm gonna take a seven iron at it. I 
I think I just barely got on the green on the right hand side. Hole number 13, par three. It's about 200 yards, a little against the wind. Flag just right there in the middle. All right, 200 yards is about all I can get out of this three hybrid. With that little bit of wind, I might be even short, but I, we're gonna give it our best chance. Okay, we went towards that sand trap, hit that car path, and kind of dribbled down it to the right. I ended up here pin high, about 37 yards to the flag. I just want to softly get it up and down for a hard par. Hole 14, it's about 375 yards, straight ahead and down that hill. Well, another crappy shot like all day. Kind of skirted through those trees off to the right. You know, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I am hitting my drives horribly. I get a good one, then I get a handful of bad ones. Good shots, bad shots. I'm really surprised I have a halfway decent score. I wanna show you these courses having a good time, playing a good round, uh, shooting a good score. Well, I'm having a good time, <laughs> believe it or not. Just not gonna give you a good score. I do hope you enjoy the course though. I mean, the course is beautiful, the day is beautiful, sticky. I'm sweating like crazy and it's probably not even 10 o'clock yet, but it's still a very nice day. It's a very nice course. We're just gonna try and uh, keep going. 239 yards. Under these trees, over that hill, and there's a green up there. Just gonna hit a four iron and get it back into play. I came from that tree over there. You heard it clip it a little bit. Came over here to these trees. It was a good shot, but I just cannot find that ball anywhere. It's somewhere over here. It didn't go that far. There's no way I could have hit it that far. But I just can't find it. I'm going to have to take a drop. Well, there's no way around that being a bummer. I really don't like this. It's right here. Anyways, I'm dropping three. I'm gonna hit four up onto the green, about 60 yards. I hope I get it up and down. Well, it definitely looks like I gave myself a chance. Hole 15. We're gonna head back uphill, probably back downhill a little bit. Par four, 430 yards. I don't think we're gonna be using that driver anymore. Well, I'm gonna have to take that back. This hole being 430 yards, I'm just gonna have to 
keep trying. Well, I got that one in the air, but left at those trees. Over here in our usual spot, the rough, we are still 220 yards away. That green is right there on the other side of that uh, tree. Uh, we're just gonna try and hit a three hybrid and uh, kind of cut it around that tree to the green. Zero cut. We went straight over those trees. It was just supposed to, but it didn't. Hole 16, par 5, 480 yards down the hill and then back up to the green. Another shot down the middle. Looks like I've got about 250 more yards to go. Again, just down the middle where that lady just made her putt. Well, as you can hear, the wind is kind of picking up, blowing right in my face. I haven't hit, a, well, I haven't hit most things good all day anyways, but I have, definitely haven't hit my woods very good. So I'm just gonna take this four iron, and now I'm gonna try and just poke it down this hill and give myself a good shot in. Okay, I hit it down the left hand side, but I think it's going to be just fine for me getting on the green. Like I said, no big deal pulling it over here to the left. I got a clear shot to the green. Wind is kind of a little bit in my face, but also left to right. I'm just going to take a uh, full sand wedge, hit it to the left hand side of the flag, and have it just drift in. That looked like a pretty good shot. Hole 17. Got to drive over this creek, go up that hill, it's about 345 yards, and as you can see, there are two groups on this hole, it's quite a backup. Well, in all honesty, I'm the one who caused that jam. Uh, filming takes a little extra time. I, uh, I like to walk the course, that takes a little extra time, and they're all in the carts playing a little better and faster than I am. So I let him play through. Hey, that's two good drives in a row. Woo! All right, I've got 80 yards 
to the flag uphill, a little wind in my back. I didn't quite get that quite far enough, but it's a putt. Hole number 18. As you can hear, against the wind, straight ahead about 368 yards, then goes around those trees, and that's the, actually the green way over there. Okay, it's a decent shot, but it went towards those trees on the left. It's probably going to be a very tough second shot. Well, that looks like it came through all of these trees over here and back out into this area. I've got about 115 yards against the wind to the green. It's down a little bit. It's guarded by the water in the front and water in the back. We're going to take a full pitching wedge at that shot and we're just aiming for the middle of the green. All right, middle of the green but on the left hand side, I'll take it. Well, that's 18 holes here at Lakeside Golf Course. Thanks for joining me this morning. It uh, wasn't the most uh, pleasant golf to probably watch, but you know, it still was fun. Frustrating, but fun. The golf course is beautiful. The day is beautiful. So I hope you at least got to enjoy Lakeside and everything that uh, it has to offer. Also, if you like these videos, please click like. I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to see more of these videos, click subscribe. Hard Pars is going to be putting out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to be trying to do different courses throughout the area. Uh, until then, you have a great day.